Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look on how to create the carabiner top subassembly uh, for a carabiner pin. Uh, so what we're going to need to do first is, is come up here, go to save, and we're going to be calling this our carabiner pin top assembly, top sub assembly. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, so once that has been saved, what we need to do is, is come out here and find our carabiner top. So we're just going to drag that across the line. That's going to be coming in. All right, so normally I'm going to tell you to pull this off of the origin. Um, honestly, with this one, what we're going to be doing, and this is not the right way of doing things, but just how this was constructed and uh, the type of files that we're using, we're just going to leave everything exactly where they're at. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. Last thing I'm going to do is come up here to my top and I'm going to ground it. All right, the next thing we need to do is come and find our carabiner uh, pin clip. All right, so if we come down here and find our pin clip, we're just going to drag that across the line, bring that in. Okay, and you're going to see it's going to go exactly where it needs to go. Once again, this is the not this is definitely not the right way of, of assembling because we're not actually using joints. Instead, what we're going to do is just place everything where it needs to go, which is going to slide exactly into the spot where we need it. And we're just going to use a rigid group later on with our main assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and just say OK on this so we can see that that clip comes in. And the last thing we need to do is go and find our axle pin. So coming up here to axle pin, bring that across the line, pulling that in. OK, you're going to see that that goes right into place. We're going to go ahead and say OK. All right. So once again, not the right way of doing things. We're not actually applying joints to this, but trust me, we're not going to even have joint origins to use in the correct locations. And this is just going to be beyond uh, the scope of things that we have for core training. Um, but anyway, once we have this done, we can go ahead and do a save. All right. And that's going to be the sub assembly that we're going to use later on. Just making sure that we use something called rigid group. Um, when we bring that into our overall assembly. OK, but it will work just perfectly. All right. So there you go. That is the carabiner top subassembly.